As the winds blow cold in Davos, Davos woman is ready to roll. We're all on pins and needles to see who the CEOs of five companies bring to Davos. It's a really important time of year. It's holiday time. It's a great time to think about how can we give to other people. The theme this year for World Economic Forum is the new global context. Last year we had about 16, 17% ladies, but I'd really like to get that up to 30%. So I have invited five key Davos CEOs to bring two female delegates to Davos to show the other Davos men how it's done. And I am so delighted to be spearheading the effort. I'd like to talk about some of the Davos men that I most admire. First off, it was wonderful to see you host Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge the other day. And Sir Martin is the one that I want to have on my team as I launch the Feminine Leader Voice globally. I'd also like to give a special hello to Unilever's Paul Pullman. I just recently filmed a Dove advertising commercial for MoFilm, and I hope that Paul likes my ad. I think it was a really interesting, creative spin on what real beauty really means. And at the end of the day, real beauty is about inner beauty and compassion. The amazing Imran Khan of Pakistan. Imran Khan is conducting the largest peaceful protest ever for democracy in Pakistan, it's lasted over 100 days now, for women, people with disabilities, young people. This Davos man has such a heart. So I would like to give a special welcome to Imran Khan, who I believe is one of the most amazing Davos men of all time. And I think that we really need to um, raise awareness of what these drone attacks are doing to children and civilians around the world. The other things that are on the mind of this Davos woman are the burqa law in France. If women um, from the Gulf want to wear a burqa, a hijab, whatever they have, you know, um, personally, I think they should be able to because telling a woman from the Gulf that she can't wear a burqa is like telling a woman in France that she can't wear a miniskirt, and that is just not right. It's very shocking to me that a country that invented things like the bikini would try and tell Muslim women how to dress. I believe this is a human rights issue, and I believe the Muslim women should be able to dress however they want. I'd like to also thank Michael Dell, because I could have not gotten where I am today without the help of my amazing Dell XPS computer. I also would like to thank CEO Mutar Kent. He promotes sustainability in business, which is one of my personal passions. I'd also like to say to Michael Corbett, it was so wonderful that you added a lady to your CEO team. We look forward to adding more ladies to your CEO team. Now, I'm filming live from Naples, Florida. Naples is a place that a lot of Davos men know about. They've either visited Naples for a conference or they have a home here. They have interacted with Davos men my whole life, so I'm very comfortable around Davos men. But I did a little research with the help of Jimmy Wales on Wikipedia. The average income for women is $30,000, while the average income for men is $86,000. We really need to have businesses that are friendly to women. Uh, paid maternity leave should be a requirement, I believe, for all businesses. The minimum wage cannot support anyone, not even a single person. A very high percentage of children in the United States are going to bed hungry at night, and that is something that I would be happy to debate at the World Economic Forum because I'm actually pretty good at debating. I think that there could be 30% women on every CEO team of every multinational corporation right now if I was on the team of recruiting. Women oftentimes have a different leadership style. Um, I do not personally thrive on competition. I thrive on collaboration. I want everyone to win. We're aiming for two ladies from each company to represent those amazing corporations. And we're so excited to be here to cover it. They are Sir Martin Sorrell of WPP, Paul Pullman of Unilever, Mutar Kent of Coca-Cola, Michael Corbett of Citigroup and Michael Dell of Dell.